whoosh, 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 whoosh. Wheel to win gaming. New intro soon. What's happening, guys? William Craddock, World Win Gaming. Today, we got a lot to talk about. So I'm just going to get right into it. First, I'm going to give shout outs to Jonas and Jackson. Uh, very good representatives for Team USA at Worlds. I think we're going to take this pretty easily. No offense, everyone else. Um, today, we're going to talk about nationals and uh, mainly just going to what went wrong at nationals. I'm Me and uh, Impact, Joshua Graham, we both made top 64, but we're going to talk about that a little later in the week. We're going to talk about our matchups and what happened and everything else of that nature. This video specifically, I'm just going to focus on nationals because if you haven't heard, it was a pretty terrible experience for most people. Um, the very first thing that struck me as odd is i honestly didn't know who was running the event like that was the very first thing because i was trying to find out how many rounds it was going to be and what the top code is going to be and in doing so here's what i heard it's play tcg hired core tcg and play was hired by bandai to run the whole event so immediately i'm like all right this triple layer bullshit's just not going to go anywhere and in case you're wondering I never did find out how many rounds is going to be until the day of the tournament. And even that turned out to not be true. <laughs> so first we're told get there at nine 30, you know, we have two buys, uh, but that's fine. You know, you don't, you, they still want you the players meeting. This became pretty normal magic. So I was used to this. So day of the event, we wake up, we're feeling good. We show up to the event, we sit down and we wait, you know, in the player meeting, a little late, you know, nothing's going on. That's okay. That's pretty normal, right? We expect some hiccups. This is the, you know, first big event run by this uh, experienced organizer here. Gets around 11 o'clock, I think. And one of the people, one of our coaches, actually, Paul Berman, was like, hey, are you in the app? And I'm like, yeah, I'm in the app. And he's like. Hey, are you checked in? Um, I see like, yeah, I'm checked in. He's like, oh, well, you have to go in that line over there. I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's like, well, if you're checked in the event, you don't have buys. So I'm like, all right, well, we're already an hour and a half, two hours late at this point. Well, let's go over there. You know, and there's a line of about 150, 200 people. I don't know. It's a massive line, and they're trying to police it, but it's not really working. So I don't even think most of the judges know what's going on. And... Yeah, we wait in line, we go up there, and we're like, hey, I have two buys. They're like, well, what's your name? All right, here's my name. All right, well, you're not in the event anymore. We'll uh, we'll put you in later. We got you, we got you. All right, that's not a problem. And it rolls around to like, golly, what was it, like noon, 1 o'clock? And the, f well, hold on, let me back it up. I think it comes around noon, and everybody is dropped from the event. The event vanishes, gone. And I was thinking like, well, what happened? Well, they probably couldn't figure out the buys out. So they're just restarting the entire thing. And this is something that I've dealt with before with Best Coast pairings. And I don't know if y'all remember, there's a huge fiasco a few months ago. Online signups, Best Coast pairings crashing. It was a whole huge thing. And there's some people like, well, why do we continue to use it? And I, you know, the other thing, this is, and mind you, this is pure conjecture. There's probably a deal with play TCG and best coast pairings. You know, I scratch your back, scratch mine, that type of thing. I don't really know. I'm not getting into that. So they, they take another hour. They have to re-enter everyone to the tournament. And about, you know, we're about four hours late at this point. Eventually, round one starts. And th this is fine, right? Like, round one's going. And after round one... Round two starts. Perfect. You know, it. we're cruising now. Okay, it's a, it a slight hiccup. Four hours late. Now we're cruising. And then round three. <laughs> and what happens in round three? So was, this didn't personally happen to me, uh, but this was the first of the repairs. And I remember sitting down and I sat across um, Red Purple Law. And I was like, all right, I, I, if I remember, this is a pretty easy match for Sakazuki. And then they call for a repair. And I was like, I don't know what happened. And well, they, all the two and O's got paired to a bunch of one and ones. I, I honestly don't know how that happens. But I actually went onto the Best Coast Pairing app to check. 
you know, my points, which they had hidden at this point. That I don't know. That's a feature that TOs can use where they can hide your placing and hide your points. That shouldn't even be a feature. You shouldn't be able to do that. Why can I not check how many points I have if you're fucking up my points constantly? That's that's first big issue. Second is I check the points uh, for everyone. And before they're hidden, I see there's a guy with 10 points. This is round three. He has 10 points. And after that, points are hidden. So, like, I... I don't know. <laughs> that seems a little sketch. Like this guy actually had 10 points. I was showing people around the table. It's like, this guy is so broken. He has 10 points before round four even started. You know, he was actually in his win, win, win draw. And you can't even draw in band night games. So I don't know. Maybe that was a tester. You know, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just what it was. But again, this just goes to the functionality of the best coast pairings app. Absolute trash. Um, but we get repaired and I, you know, I'm not going to go into this. I, I get smushed round three. Like, I, I play Kyle Wapple, um, Sokka Mirror. Uh, he just smushed me. It was a non-game. Like, it it was fine. But I was like, man, I had, like, a pretty easy round one, and then I got paired into a good player, Sokka Mirror. But that's not what this video is about. Uh, lo and behold, you know, we start cruising. We get a few more rounds. I think round four goes fine. Round five goes fine. Round six is fine. We are, mm, like, we're there. All right, we start four hours late whatever uh judge comes up over the intercom i think it's ben love you ben but uh he says you know we're getting a lot of questions about this in case anyone's wondering we we're paying 11 rounds today 11 rounds that is what we're told we were playing 11 rounds in this event and we're getting them all done today and i'm like well it's like you know six o'clock we got five more rounds to play but whatever i'm down for it and then so round seven, we sit down, you know, we're just, we're chilling, we're talking and we're shuffling up, getting ready to play a game. We get the second repair of the day. And, you know, at this point, I'm just like, why are y'all using best coast pairings? I've never played Pokemon by no RK9. It's just like built functionally to handle, you know, 2,500 people or so. I and mean, I think we only had like 18 or 19 at our Nats. So, like, and, and of course, I'm just playing Best Coast Pairings because that's what I assume it was. I I talked to a lot of judges. A lot of judges, you know, were also blaming Best Coast Pairings for the most part. Um, but, I, you know, I can't get into that because I can't name and shame or anything. But, um, so we get another repair. That's fine. We're playing. And then we get to round nine. And this is not as bad. There's a soft repair in round nine. You know, we, uh, it might, is it around nine? I think it's around eight, maybe around nine. There's a soft repair. They have to shuffle some people around. Not a full on repair. So it's like two and a half for the event. Okay, sure. But this is the best part of day one. They had been hammering into us the entire time. Hey. We're going to have 11 rounds. Y'all got 11 rounds. We were doing the full 11 rounds today. We were beaten and bloody at this point. After round 10, <laughs> and this is so funny. We sat down before round 10, and they're just going to make an announcement. It's just some random announcement like, you know, the cookies are done in the oven. But as soon as that intercom came on, there's collective boos from the entire, like, One Piece community that has left in this tournament. They, they didn't have to say anything. They just heard that intercom come on, and it was just like, boo. And I, I just thought it was funny. But it was a non-announcement. But after round 10, the intercom comes on. You know, we'd wait in like 15 minutes. Everyone's done with their match. I'm X2, so I'm like, all right, I got to play one more round. I'm on the bubble. You know, I got to win, right? To make I got to make a top cut. I got to win. Then we hear it. The tournament is over. The rounds are over. There's no more rounds today. We're going to top cut. And I'm just like, you know, there's a lot of applause. There's a lot of applause from, you know, the crowd. Like, yes, it's over finally. But I know as someone who's played a lot of tournaments, that is bad. So that means a huge number of people are not going to make that top 64 cut. I know this in my soul. And I'm worried, too, because I was ready to, you know, play for my top 64 cut. Now it's just like, well, we're going to tie breaks. And, you know... It takes like 20 minutes for placings to come up. So I guess I have to turn them back on because they, they shouldn't have hit them in the first place. And there's, man, I want to say, I think about 
70 or 80 X2s miss the top cut, which is like pretty unheard of. That's like really, so your top cut's X4, right? It's not like, you know, I, I know a normal Van Dyke tournament, like a couple X1s miss top eight, which should also not be the case it, while I'm here talking about it. But by the way, Van Dyke, just run the correct number of Swiss rounds. Like this one undefeated shit is awful. Like it is just awful for competitive play and you need to get rid of it. And I, I don't know why they do it. Like, I don't know if it's just, I don't know. It's just awful. But we finished day one. Um, luckily, there's a few other mishaps that went around the tournament. Um, the two biggest I'm going to talk about before I start moving on to some non, you know, time. Re- I guess these are time related. But one thing that was awful that this is also unheard of in tournament judges judges were told now this was not their fault they were told to do they were told they were ordered they could not give out time extensions and if you have ever played a competitive game and had a judge call they can last four to five minutes and they were ordered you cannot have a time extensions people were handling stuff themselves that they probably shouldn't because they're afraid they wouldn't finish their match which is unreal that's unreal and back to the thing where people are talking about, you know, I was talking about they're hiding your points. You cannot see your placing. You cannot see how many points you have. I actually had a friend, a good friend of mine. He reported on the app. The app for the, the system that they are wanting to use, they chose to use the app, you know, the reliable app. He reported he won his match because he did. He won his match. He reported he won. His opponent went on the website and reported his match. All right, his opponent reported that he won, which was not true. And the website overrode the app, so my friend ended up taking a loss. And when he 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 actually knew because he was at a really low table after that round, and he went to tell a judge like, "Hey, this was reported as a loss. I reported I won on the app." And the judge, you know, and this is the only time I I don't know what the judge could do. I don't know who he takes it to, but the judge basically told him tough shit. Like, well, you're not even gonna DQ the guy who just. Gave himself a free win. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do there. Um, I would definitely do something. It wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you to kick rocks. Like, I've never felt this way. And it's not really the judge's fault. Because I've... I definitely believe this is top down. Like, I think Bandai and Play TCG had the most hand in this. And they're just ordering the judges around. I'm not blaming the judges at all. I, I'd like to point that out. I think they were being told what to do, and they did the best of their situation. I, they were probably just as, like, you know, dumbfounded as the players were. Like, what is going on? Now, there's a few things outside of, I would say this outside of the tournament, that I just found particularly disturbing. One is that they were going around kicking people out of the venue uh, before the tournament had ended. Uh, just people who, you know, may have been in the tournament, they dropped... And this includes Dee Dee. If y'all have met Dee Dee, she's a, a tiny Asian girl. Like, and this is ridiculous. They were kicking them saying, you have to go wait outside. You cannot stay with your friends. You cannot stay with your family. You have to go wait outside. And if y'all didn't know this, hey, heads up. Someone got robbed at gunpoint outside the very arena that we were playing at. And they were just roaming around like a fucking death squad trying to kick people out saying you cannot be in this building anymore. It didn't matter if you had a, a player badge, a spectator, but nothing. Unless you were in your seat playing the tournament, there were a... Like, this This was them being told, like, you have to get out. You, you cannot stay here. You have to go outside. And it, it just blows my mind. This is dangerous for your players. Like, this is not only... Like, what are they doing? Like, I understand you're being ordered, but, like, they were... Like, people are being bullied. Like, I, you know, I'm someone who's had experience bullying on both sides of the fence. I was younger, um, and when I got older, I've been bullied myself. And, like, these people, the and, like, and there was a lot of pushback, too, especially from me, because I, you know, I'll go into this about the day two stuff. They they were just bullying people. And Didi, like, Didi, who was just like, hey, you know, my husband's here, like, playing and i'm (laughs) i'm by myself like i'm just sitting at this table i was in the tournament here's my badge they were just trying to kick her out i had to twice just go and be like hey like fuck off like leave her alone and it it was kind of ridiculous to me like it it honestly just like blew my mind um and then you know but after day one ended we (laughs) we all you know went back to the airbnb um, shout out to Jonathan Job. 
and we just kind of talked about, you were just kind of making light of the situation. It's like, how could it get worse? You know, how could it get worse? And then comes day two, you know, they're like, be back here at eight 30. You know, we're going to start on time. We're going to get this done. So I'd made top cut. I was going to be there on time. We're going to forget day one happened. We're moving on. So I get to the, the, uh, the event hall, you know, they tell us be here at eight 30. I think we arrive at like eight, like we're, we're super early. You know, we won't be on time. We get this on time. We, uh, and we go in and we see there's, you know, there's people upstairs. There's like a cafe and they're getting coffee and snacks and everything. And I try to go to the bathroom and I'm with my group and here, here comes the roaming death squad. And like, you can't be in here. And we're like, no, we're in the, you know, here's our badge. We're in the event. Like, no, you can't be in here. And I'm like, you know, I'm the one who's like, what do you mean? They're like, we, if you have a Bandai badge, you cannot be in this building. And I just look upstairs and like, there's people up there getting coffee. Like the, you know, they don't have a Bandai. I agree. They don't have a player badge. There's like a different convention. Like, can we not go get coffee? Can I get snacks? Like, they're like, no, if you have a Bandai badge, we were told that you cannot be in this building until 8.30. And no, we were told we could, you were supposed to be there at 8.30, like, we're to begin play, like, or deck checks, or whatever. No. I, literally, that's like, okay, fine. Can I just go to the restroom? Like, no, you have to go outside and use the restroom. You cannot be in here if you have a Bandai badge. And this is just, like, the dumbest shit I've heard in my life. And I, I go outside and there's like all these people band up badge outside and they're also like, I don't understand what's happening. And the worst part is, you know, we have these <laughs> fucking people and I, I don't mean to dump on these people. Like I, I understand they're doing their job. They're in these, you know, they're band eye jackets. They're like, we need the, the line two by two. Cause we're going to get you in there. I'm like, you could just let us in now we're here. There's like 300 people here. We're ready to go. Oh, just let the, you know, your Digimon top cut in, let your, BSS top cut and let your one piece top cut and let us go in. We're here. And they're like, no, you, you have to wait outside. And we wait outside for 45 minutes. And I, and even then, you know, it, it was a shit show. Like different people would come in and open the door and be like, Hey, all right, come in. And then another person come in like, nah, you can't go in yet. And it, it was just like, I I've never felt so alienated by like, you know, just like the game. I like, we were just trying to go in and play the game. Right. And it just, and these people were acting like, we were second class citizens. Like you cannot be in this building. You, you were strict. Only you. There were other people in the building that didn't have Bandai badges. If you had a Bandai badge, you were a second class citizen. You were not allowed to be in this building, which to me is insanity. Like I couldn't use the bathroom. I couldn't go get a drink of water, which I'm not even get to. They on the on site, you know, bathrooms. And that's a whole another deal. If you want to check out Cross's Twitter, that'll tell you all you need to know about like the two bathrooms for you know seven thousand people and the, you know the one bottle of water split between us that is also pretty insane overall like honestly you know i was super excited to play one piece i love this game um but i would be shocked if someone didn't get fired over this one bcp shouldn't just never be used again and, like, I understand, like, I think there was a guy there, like, a BCP rep. I understand he's just, he's there doing his best. But the functionality of that website and that app is trash. Like, it does not work. It does not work for what you need it to do. Um, and when you're playing for what is, pro- like, you know, a quarter million dollars, like, I think, you know, whoever got first, uh, I mean, Jonas, I know Jonas got first. Jonas could probably sell his total prize pool for a quarter million dollars maybe more like you shouldn't be using a trash can website that's just terrible like i i don't know what to tell you like i I, i'm sorry like i don't mean to dump on bcp like but it's just the truth and if what i was being told is the truth that bandai is handing down these like orders directly to play tcg uh which i don't fully believe i'm gonna be honest i think you know they're just it's easy to pass the buck on blaming everything on bandai um because they have you know they're in japan you know they have no offices here they have no one here um but i actually kind of believed to play ctg was a big part of it and whether or not it was you know i don't think it was intentional i don't think it's malicious but they did you know choose the people to hire and if you even go read bandai's floor rules it says in the floor rules that 
the TO has the final say in everything. Like, it, there's a little asterisk at the bottom of the floor rules that says, like, the TO's... It's, everything's up to the TO's discretion. Um, and speaking of that, we'll talk about the tournament structure after Top Cut. Now, I you know, I would say the average One Piece player hasn't had this experience just yet. Uh, but at the Top 64, it was one hour, best of three. So if you play this game, you know most tournaments, best of one, 35 minutes. So you want us to play three games in an hour when one game takes about 35 minutes. It's stupid. It is fucking insanity to me. Like, I I, I don't know if this figure is true. I didn't validate it, but someone said something about 50% of the Euro players went to time in their top cut. And the time procedures are a whole other thing, but when you're talking about playing a large scale tournament, you you can keep it best of one. Like if Bandai just kept it, or Ban or the TO, I'm not Bandai or the TO, either one, y'all just kept it best of one. Sure, fine, go. Like yeah, best of one top top cut. I'm okay with that. Or best of three, no time limit, no time limit, and. This is important to note. No time limit does not mean unlimited time. They are not the same thing. If you've played Magic, you've played you know, big events, you've played in the top eight of big events, you know no time limit does not mean you can sit there and think with infinite time. That's not how that works. There's still You can still get slow play. You can still get warnings for playing slow. You can still get penalties for playing slow. It's just you're not going to lose because your opponent played too slow, and then you played too slow, and then your opponent scummed you and i mean no one likes to win with time i'm not saying if you win with time you are scummy but winning in, in time sucks like if like if you've ever won a game in time or, or even lost a game in time it sucks like because that's not when you're playing at the highest levels that's not what you want and these people deserve to be where they are they played their heart out they made the top cut and they don't deserve to lose because hey you know the, our our best of three we only have a little bit more than you know we have an hour and a best of three when one game takes 35 minutes i don't understand like oh uh, man because we're not even talking about like the time it takes to play a game right you're talking about shuffling like you take three minutes to shuffle between games it's an extra six minutes so now you have 54 minutes to finish a uh best of three you're talking mulligan say each mulligan take you mulligan twice that's an extra two minutes your opponent mulligans twice it's an extra two minutes and you have 50 minutes to play best of three like it is it's, it's fucking ridiculous to me. It, it just, you know, I'm just one person, and I'm not trying to, like, incite this mass exodus from One Piece because I don't want the game to die. Don't get me wrong. But, like, something has to change. And it has to change quickly. Like, this whole, you know, it's kind of like, I feel like, you know, we look at world politics, Bandai's got this whole, like, we're doing reprints thing to really detract from, like, how badly run their Nationals event was. This was, like, their thing. This was, like... One Piece, Digimon, Battle Spirits. We're all coming together. We're all going to have fun. And it was terrible. Like, in there was, like, huge decorations, and it looked good, but it was, it was all... What, what, what's, what do you say? It's all um, style, no substance. That's what it felt like. It was like, they, here's this big Luffy card, but we don't give a shit. <laughs> like, we can strike this big Luffy card. We don't, we don't care. Like, with this, you look over here while we just do nothing for you. And I'm going to go back to this. If you watched my videos before, I talked about the TOs in Mexico. Like, they are the best. Like, they, they had everything that was at Bandai Card Fest as far as, like, decoration and looking good goes. But they actually care about their tournament. And you can tell by the way they run it. This tournament, no love for players. Like, actual hate. Like, I, I felt like they didn't want us to play the game anymore. And, I, you know, and like I said, I don't know who to blame. I I. I'll never know who who's actually at fault. I don't know if it's play. I don't know if it's core. I don't know if it's Bandai because I don't actually know who's running the tournament. You know. But um, all in all, just you know, don't don't flame people. Don't flame the judges. Don't flame each other. Like th this was a bad experience for everyone. Um, and you know, we're mostly just looking for someone to blame. And realistically, like even we find someone to blame, I just, you know, as a player, I just want it fixed. I you know, I don't want to. I don't want the game to die. I don't want, you know, the scene to die. I just want it to be fixed. I want them to care a little bit, you know, and not, and not wait until OP 10. 
not to wait till next year nationals to fix it. Like I want to go to a play TCG event where I feel they care. I want them to run the event like they care. I want them to use an app like that matter that does what it's supposed to do. I want to be able to check my points in the middle of round three and make sure my match is recorded correctly. I want to check my tiebreakers and make sure, you know, may if I can't make top eight, maybe I want to go home. Like, you know, there, there's so much to it, but, um, yeah, that was my video a little, you know, I just got home. It's actually a one thirty AM where I'm at. I just want to talk about a lot of these things while it's fresh in my mind. Um, but I appreciate y'all for watching. We're going to be coming with a, me and Josh are going to do a video. We're going to talk about, you know, our, our deck choice and how the, our matches went, you know, more gameplay oriented things for those that are interested. Cause we actually had a pretty sick Sakazuki list and it ran like a top. So we, we loved it. It was a little different than everyone else's. And this was kind of, it kind of felt good that we both did well, right? Like, but yeah, that's the video. Um, thanks for watching everyone. Yeah. I'll make another video this week talking about gameplay. Thanks everyone. Oh, and make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and comment. I want to know, people that are there, what your opinion on the whole thing was. Like, I, this is the video where, like, I want people to talk about what happened. But just, you know, try to keep it a little more civil. Like, let's not, like, dump, like, let's not dump on people. I know I may have done that a little bit. But ultimately, it's just, let's not start, a, you know, a witch hunt. Right? Anyway. All right. Thanks, everyone. See it. Wheel to Win Gaming.